Hey guys, so in this lesson we're going to um, learn how to extract NURBS curve from surfaces, okay? Because my question is, if you can generate CV curves into, uh, into NURBS curves, why can't we generate uh, CV curves from NURBS curves? If you can go forward, why can't you go backwards? That kind of thing. So you get my, uh, my point. So, um, well, let's start with a general sphere. Press 5 to shade it. We've got that. Now, um, if we go to control vertices, we've got those vertices. Move, uh, use the move tool, which is W. You know, just bend the vertices a little bit. Okay? Bend the vertices a little bit. And go to um, isoperm. Okay, create, um, uh, let's say, somewhere, create a mark somewhere around here, and let's perform an action. So you, you go to edit curves, okay, then duplicate curve. Now we've actually duplicated this curve. See that? We've actually duplicated this curve. And um, if you've got history on and I've got history on so because I've got history on I can actually manipulate this curve that I've actually um, generated from my uh, NURBS curve for my NURBS uh, sphere so let's go to vertex vertices and see that I can actually um, sort of manipulate it so you, you get the idea you can gener generate a lot of things from this you know a lot of things it's like one because I've got history turned on so now uh, let's do something a little bit more practical okay let's create a new scene don't save it online one save it um, five to shade it so we've got a sphere our sphere here so again let's go into isoperm um, we want to cut it somewhere around here edit curves Detach curve, we've detached it. We've got these two little pieces. Move this bad boy up. All right, now now delete this bad boy. We've got that now, move that one up. See? Move, move that bad boy. Yep. We've got this. Now what I want you guys to do is to actually duplicate this, okay? Duplicate this. Um, duplicate that. Then click on the on the R or that scale two and just scale this the inside the duplicated version inside, okay? Now look at that gap. There's a gap between this one and that one. See that gap? I'm sure you can see, it, guys. So um, what you want is to actually move this up. So let's just uh, make sure make sure it's level. That's about right. That's about right to me. That's level. So make sure it's level. Or you you, you know um, you know what I mean, guys. Make sure that's level. And go back into isoperm. Click on that edge. Okay. Click on that edge, bring it to the top. A curves, duplicate curve. So we've got a curve at the top. So let's click the one inside. Again, isoperm. Again, isoperm. Click on that curve, bring it to the top. When it's red, it's at the when it's like that, it's at the top. Then you go to edit curves, uh, duplicate surface curves. So we've got one object, two object, three object, four. So we've got four objects here. Okay, let's go into our outliner and see exactly what's going on. We've got our outliner. We've got uh, nerves sphere, nerves. Um, see. We've got our stuff. So what I want you guys to do is to actually I won't talk I won't be talking too much here. Yeah? Um just watch what I do, okay? 
close that one shift click surfaces um, go into surfaces then loft not planar loft go into surfaces then loft okay now we've got a surface that's been loft and it's pretty it's nice it's yummy let's go into our control vertex try to move this see now we'll move that top see it's moving together it's not like separating it's not it's not see the top it's one object it's not separating yeah so guys you've learned something you've learned something new and I love it you see it, you like it you love it there you go guys let's advance into the next tutorial which will be opening and closing surfaces so yeah that's good for now and see you in the next tutorial don't forget to subscribe thanks and bye